A new program in Rome seeks to combine lessons taught in business schools with the Catholic faith. The Discerning Leadership Program is an initiative of the International Association of Jesuit Universities in collaboration with its MBA schools in Spain, Italy, and the United States. And the executive director of the program, Father David McCallum, joins us now from Rome. Father, welcome to the show. So what specific things can our church learn from business schools and what can they learn from the church? Great question, Tracy. So we know that leadership has not necessarily been in the headlines for the church over the last few years. And as we've been trying to contend not only with the sexual abuse crisis and the ways in which it was managed, but the need to actually revitalize and, and in fact, refresh the church. So discernment-based leadership is the opportunity to reintroduce the Holy Spirit into our decision-making combining the best of what we know from the corporate and the business world with this ancient tradition in the church of relying on the Holy Spirit and relying on the guidance of the Holy Spirit to help us find a path forward. It is such an interesting program, but why begin it now? Well, over the last few years, Pope Francis has been asking the Society of Jesus to share this way of proceeding, which we call discernment, as a gift to the church, not that the Society of Jesus alone practices it, but it was very much associated with the spirituality of St. Ignatius. And it's a way of making decisions that are really weighed by the values, by the, the concerns, by the, uh, the commitments of our faith, and really trying to follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. So why now? Well, it seems that now is probably the most important time that we, in our, certainly our, our recent times, have seen, not just in the church, but in every sector, right? So business, education, healthcare, any sector you can imagine is facing crises these days in the way that we make decisions, in the ways that we try to factor in all the complexity, uh, the uncertainty that we have to face today. And as a way of proceeding, discernment is actually made for these times. It's made for uncertainty. It's made for helping us to face the unknown without fear and with hope. So I think that's kind of a timeless thing, but it feels especially timely for today. Absolutely. So what's the response been like? And also, what do you hope comes out of this program? We intend that this program would actually continue for several years. Our desire is that as we bring in senior Vatican officials, the major superiors of religious orders from around the world, and key lay leaders, that actually over time we'll build a critical mass of people who have this capability and capacity to lead, and not just to lead in a discerning fashion, but to fulfill the vision of Vatican II for a synodal church, a church which is truly on the road together. When we think about what the church feels like for people, we often first think about our parish experience and the sense of closeness and community that we have, hopefully, in our parish. Or we think of the, the bureaucracy and the hierarchy of the church, which can often seem kind of impersonal. But synodality is the reminder that we're all in this together, that we've all been called to discipleship and to walk on this road together. Those who are part of the hierarchy, those who are part of uh, the lay faithful, um, and in fact, to see the work of lay people in the church as the, the work really of the church. It's, um, it's really in many ways to invert the pyramid of the way that we think about the hierarchy. And uh, Pope Francis has been pushing in this direction for some time to, to more fully empower lay people in their leadership. Well, Father, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate your time. Father David McCallum, Executive Director of the Discerning Leadership Program. Thank you again for your time. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks very much.